Good morning. Dan Tez Walton and Trey Combs were not only teammates, but best friends throughout their time at LCC. And as luck would have it, their relationship continues to grow both on and off the floor at the college level as they are once again teammates at NKU. I made the trip to Highland Heights this week to catch up with the former T-Birds as they continue to grow at the next level. In 2015, Dan Tez Walton put his trust in his coaching staff before committing to NKU, and it's paid off greatly for the former T-Bird. Obviously, it was like blind trust because they had a little rough start, 9-21 mm -hmm. the year before I came, and I believed him fully, and I believed in his plan, and obviously we turned it all around, and I'm here to here today like with win-win victory. Freshman year didn't play a lot because he was on a good team. More his sophomore year, now he's playing a ton his junior year. That's the way the college basketball game is supposed to be. You're supposed to be consistent and bring it each and every year and get better each and every year. He's certainly done that and he's earned the minutes he's gotten and part of a really successful team. Not only a successful team, but a program that's on the rise as the Norse followed up an NCAA tournament berth with an NIT appearance last year. And now they seek a second Horizon League tournament title in the past three seasons. It says a lot. Obviously, we trusted in each other enough like to get to the point where we uh, was at and we just got unbelievable like faith in each other and in and out every day and practice and grinding each day and we went to the tournament, went to NIT tournament and hopefully we got big goals this year. Dantez isn't the only former T-Bird turned Norse. He's joined by his good buddy Trey Cobbs, who's out for the year with an ACL injury, but the junior just keeps on fighting. If you had to describe Trey, you'd say he's a fighter and he's been put in positions where he's had to fight. and. I look forward to the time where he reaps those rewards. I believe things happen for a reason, and uh, I believe I'm here for a reason. And, uh, you know, I had to dig myself back out. I mean, you know, I've been here before uh, with my shoulder, and uh, I believe I'm going to dig myself right back out. It's kind of like a drink, come too. Like, you get to play with your best friend in college, and you just get to be with him around him every day, and you ain't got to take on this task alone. But although he's not on the court with me, you, as, as you've seen today, yeah. you probably heard him. So. <laughs> It's like he out there with me still. I live in the moment, to be honest. Uh, just attack each day, and uh, I believe attacking each day will ultimately, you know, get me to my goals or whatever goals I got. And uh, I believe that's how I succeed in life.